again, in Algier Streets, we spent probably about, I think right now it totals about $15 million that we spent in Algier Streets over the past two or three years. The project that we are talking about is on General de Gaulle, of course. Uh, in General de Gaulle, we have spent over $90 million, including road work and also drainage and at the pump station over the past four years. But the streets that we've done so far, Pace Boulevard, Mercedes, we've also done um, <clears throat> Newton and General de Gaulle, but we also have a couple other projects that are getting ready to go underway. It's going to be MacArthur between Holiday and General de Gaulle, and we're also going to be doing Sullen Street. So those are the two projects that are funded that will be starting construction in the next few months. So that's pretty exciting. And the project that we are working on right now, securing the funding for, is Old Berman Highway. So we have that taking place. We've met with Walter Brooks, and Jeff and I asked him to give us a, a evaluation of the Algier streets that we can fix, because we need to fix as many streets as we have. So with regional planning and DOTD, they have given us a list of streets in order of priority of which ones need to be fixed. So we have a five-year plan to continue to keep working on fixing the Algier streets as long as we can appropriate the dollars from the legislature. So this is the beginning, far from the end. And we look forward to continue rebuilding our infrastructure, keep fixing the streets, because that's something that people recognize. When you're able to not have to bring your car in to get aligned every week, it makes a difference. <laughs> you know? And the streets are something that government can do. These are the things that we need to do to help make life just a little bit better, especially for the residents of Algiers and the West Bank.